Yo guys, it's James. And in today's video, we're talking about when to take an unplanned rest day. It's pretty important because if you train when you shouldn't be training, you can really mess yourself up. And if you don't train when you should be training, well, you're just not gonna make any progress at all. So how do you know when you should be taking an unplanned rest day? That's what we're gonna cover. So my job as a coach is to help people know when they should maybe step off the gas, maybe when they should you know, take a rest day, and other times just call them out on their excuses. Now, if your coach is not calling you out, is not keeping you accountable, then you probably need to find a new coach because that's what a coach should be doing. That's what a coach is there for, is to keep you accountable and to stop you from listening to your own excuses, okay? Now, what prompted uh, this, the inspiration for this video is last night, I went to bed super early at like 7 p.m. or something, and I woke up at 2 a.m. and couldn't get back to sleep. So I've been awake since 2 a.m. till now, which is like 4.30 in the afternoon. It's been a long day. And I still went to the gym today, uh, but then it, when it came round to making the video, is I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know whether I should make a video today. And then I stopped myself and I was like, no, James, what would you say to your clients? Of course, I would tell my clients to go to the gym. And just like you might be struggling with going to the gym right now, or you struggle with excuses, I struggle with excuses with making these videos. Every single day, actually, I think of excuses to not make these videos, but I still make them anyway, and that is a big part of what we're gonna talk about, all right? So, how do you know when to take a rest day, okay? Now, the way I see it is there's two types of people, and you probably fall somewhere in a, in a spectrum between these two types of people. On this side, you've got people who, they're just looking for the excuses. They just, they just, any kind of little excuse, anything to throw them off. You know, I've heard everything. I've heard, oh, my grandma's in town, so I've not trained this week. Like, your grandma's in town, so you didn't train for a whole week. You know what I mean? So like there's some of you out there and you, you will know what I'm talking about is you just look for the smallest little excuse. Oh, you banged your little finger. Oh, you're gonna have to take a week off, all right? But then you have other people on the other end of the spectrum who are just complete savages. You know, they'll break the leg and they'll still be in the gym doing squats. Like, there is nothing that is keeping them away from taking a rest day. So my advice to you really depends on, you know, what kind of person you are and what end of the spectrum do you fall on. And I've been both of these people, all right? And a lot of people forget, you know, my clients forget when they try and give me excuses, is that I am an expert at excuses, okay? I've told myself, every single excuse under the boat as to why I shouldn't train. And any coach who has, has been doing this for a while will know, we know the game, okay? You cannot bullshit a bullshitter, okay? Like, <laughs> the, the, the excuses are extremely obvious. And I've told myself every single excuse under the book. And I went from being sort of the person who kind of looked for excuses all the time to then being uh, the guy who just would never take a rest day. I would just go to the gym. I would try and go to the gym every single day. I wouldn't even take a, a planned rest day. I would just train seven days a week, run myself into the ground. Wouldn't recommend that either. So fortunately for you, I've made all the mistakes so you don't have to, okay? So let's get into it. Here's some questions that you should ask yourself to determine you know, when to take a rest day. So the first question is, are you sick? Like, are you actually sick or are you, do you just have a bit of a runny nose? Now, I actually made a previous video on this because a few weeks ago, I did get sick. I took a full week off the gym, which is, you know, quite a long time for me, to be honest. If you're actually sick and, you know, you, you train it, training will make your condition worse, then, you know, maybe you should take a rest day. But if you've just got a bit of a runny nose or you just got a bit of a cold, or you just, you don't feel 100%, you don't need to take a full rest day for that, you know, come on. Uh, another question to ask yourself is, when did you last take an unplanned rest day? Okay, now, if you uh, took an unplanned rest day already this week or last week, you know, chances are you don't, there's maybe a, a deeper issue here that we need to address, okay? Maybe it's too much volume. Maybe uh, you're training too many days a week. Maybe your, your sleep's not on point or your nutrition's on point. For me, I still train today because the reason I didn't feel 100% was just because of a lack of sleep from last night. 
but I know by training today, it's not really going to make my condition any worse. So I, I would just went to the gym. I didn't have a great session, but I still got a session in. And this is a big, I'm a big fan of doing something rather than nothing. Doing something is better than nothing. I've, sp I've spoken about this before, guys. But instead of taking a rest day, ask yourself, what can you do? Instead of taking a rest day, what can you do? Can you just go do some cardio? Can you just go for a walk? Can you just get outside? Can you just do half the sets you normally would? Like I went in there today, I did four exercises, I was training arms, I did four exercises. I was out after like 30, 35 minutes. So going there and doing something is so much better than not doing anything at all. I would rather go to the gym and have a session which is like a five out of 10 than not go to the gym at all. All right. And unfortunately, you know, the way life goes is you're not going to have a 10 out of 10 session every single time. Some of you watching this video will have never even seen a 10 out of 10 session. All right. But ideally, you know, we want to have as many good sessions as possible, but sometimes that's not going to happen. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes it's sleep. Sometimes it's diet. Sometimes it's stress, you know, stuff happens. All right. So, when that happens, instead of taking a rest day, ask yourself, you know, can you just take it a little bit easier? Can you just reduce the volume? Can you reduce the intensity? Can you do something? Ask yourself, what can you do? Maybe you just do cardio. Maybe you just take it a little bit easier, all right? And really, you just want to be smart about this, okay? Just be smart because you don't want to run yourself into the ground. And if you're the sort of person and you haven't had a rest day for a really long time and you're a very, like, you just grit your teeth and you just get on with it. For that kind of person, if you're debating whether you should have a rest day or not, you probably should have a rest day. But if you're the sort of person that struggles with motivation, you struggle with consistency, and you're just not going to the gym enough, well, you should definitely just go to the gym because the only way you're gonna get um, a positive ROI from your training sessions is if you start having good sessions. If you start having like a seven out of 10, eight out of 10, nine out of 10 gym session consistently, consistently. But where most people go wrong is they just don't have a good enough session and they don't do it often enough and the nutrition and sleep and everything else is messed up. So you, you, do, you don't see any progress. So you're putting in some of the work, but you're getting zero gains back and no wonder you end up quitting because if you put in work in and not getting anything back, well, it's demotivating and you're only gonna be able to do that for so long. And that is one of the benefits, one of the many benefits of working with a coach, okay? Another thing to remember, right, is gains only come after recovery, okay? But in order to actually recover, you have to have had a good session in the first place. So if you're the sort of person that's a go-getter, you, you never take days off, you always go, 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 you pro you, that sort of person is really gonna benefit from taking a rest day, maybe even taking two rest days. But if you're the sort of person, you know, you're not consistent, you go to the gym maybe two times a week, even when you go, you don't push yourself. Well, you've got nothing to recover from, <laughs> let's be honest. You're not training properly right now. So of course, no, you don't need a training session. You actually need to learn how to train properly and how to push yourself. Because, look, it's not the, the missing one day is really gonna change that much. That's, that's not the big cost here. The big cost of excuses is the lie that you tell yourself because you've broken a promise with yourself. You've said, I'm gonna to go to the gym on this day, and then you don't follow through with it. And then what that creates is a lack of trust with yourself. And you tell yourself, you're telling yourself, it's now okay to not do this thing. If I didn't make this video today, I'm telling myself, oh, it's not too bad. I didn't sleep well last night. It's okay to not make this video today because a lack of sleep is a valid excuse for not making a video. Not really, like I should do absolutely everything in my, power to do what I said I was going to do. And all right, I have missed a couple of days since I started uploading these videos. But if you can be consistent, like 90, 95% of the time, you're going to win eventually. If you do the right actions for long enough, it is impossible for you to not make progress. All right, guys. So what it comes down to is just not being a pussy is not listening to the excuses that you're telling yourself. You know, if you banged your finger or your grandma's in town or whatever 
elaborate excuse that your mind can think of, just don't listen to it. Just get it done and earn those rest days. That's what you gotta do, is you gotta earn the rest days. And if you train hard enough, if you put the reps in, if you put, um, like if you start stacking weeks after weeks after weeks of good training sessions and you know you, your performance starts to deteriorate over a while, then yeah, chances are you probably do need a rest day. But for most of you watching this, I would say, if I had to guess, you probably don't need a rest day, but it's case by case basis and you've got to be smart about it, guys, all right? Now, if you want some help with your training, your nutrition, uh, just your overall health and lifestyle optimizations, you wanna know when you should train, how you should train, how often you should train, and you want someone to uh, take you through absolutely everything, you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching. And other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.